Dodgers. They open with two running backs, Stefan and Joe McKnight, and that is McKnight stepping in motion, and they'll flip it to him immediately. And over there on him is a terrific linebacker. That is Bowman. Navarro could break into the. They all have over 600 yards rushing on the year. Stanley Havili out, an academic problem, and so that means a freshman is in there operating at fullback as Gable could not get the first down, and he's upended by Lydell Sargent. You've not seen Penn State play this year, and you, you kind of have the stereotype that it's a Penn State defense from the Big Ten, and they're slow and they're physical. You might be surprised to see how fast this defense can really run sideline to sideline because of the experience that this group has and the linebacking crew and the way now all the way at the bottom of your screen here. So they continue to move in from the gun. Sanchez has hit fumble, both down. Guards throw. Now they come back with McKnight on the toss. And the Nittany Lions were ready for that play, and uh, Aaron Maven. Penetrate, and Johnson battles on. So with McKnight out. There's Gable. And a penalty for because of the talent you're facing. Trojans keep it on top, and he couldn't get it off. Our first sack of the game, Bowman. Navarro Bowman, the sophomore from Maryland. Bowman had to fight to get through here. Pretty good job, actually, Brent, of the pass protection. It was just great coverage downfield. Bowman's going to go up against Charles Brown, the junior, 6'6", 295-pound left tackle. But you can see that he has a tenacity. This does not give up on the play. And eventually, because of the coverage, he's able to get there and bring Sanchez. This game. In trouble and going down. Audric. With the defensive tackles. In on that play, along with Bowman again. Ball up and improve. And when you look at around him, almost everybody returns to this offense with the exception of Patrick Turner. Gable brought down beautifully by Josh Hall, the junior from Milhelm, Pennsylvania, comes. And the penetration we just talked about is essential to these linebackers having a chance to make a back side touch the ground before the ball came out did not that is a clean fumble Davis did a great job and Gable's going to be back in the doghouse remember I told you earlier he fumbled on the first series against UCLA ball is ripped free in the air Davis has got it Time out. Out of the whole stadium I thought so everybody up here that's called a plus one my friends we all want to see that six minutes Johnson stopped at the line of scrimmage this time. Imagine that. Imagine the USC looking like this. And Gable is short of the 20. We're settled on that one play. Sanchez is still there, and a fine play by Bowman. Here it is, Herbie. In the bowl games, the Pac-10 about to go 5-0, and and they will be the winner based on winning percentage, and no one else can wind up with three games and, uh, and be uh, batting 1,000. The SEC lost. Jordan Norwood, the receivers, they're all going to get looks in the league. But on defense, most of these guys all come back with the exception of Aaron Mabin, who's a defensive end who has to make a decision. Here's Stefan Johnson. 